we're writing our thesis statement. Giselle. So like, 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 don't say something like that's just like, it's there, but like, here's something like, like that you can go like more in depth with, like, like what he, or what he said, um, Tupac was a great writer, then he said, the black parents is influenced, um, Tupac's ideology. Ideology, right? Ideology. So it should not be obvious, yeah. an obvious statement. It should be something that's... Can lead to another paragraph. Can lead to another paragraph, but that other people can... Research, research or debate with, right? So it should be debatable. Okay. Uh, what are some other shoulds or should nots? Jennifer, you had your hand up. Huh? I forgot. You forgot. You just had your hand up. Okay. Who who else wants to add something? What should a thesis be? Your thesis statement for your essay. What should it be? Or what shouldn't it be? So George, why don't you go ahead and roll? Pick a color. Red number two, that's going to default to Luis. Give me one should or one shouldn't. Okay, so don't make it obvious or easy to figure out. Um, what else? I'm not sure if not to speak in first person. Yes, not to speak in first person. So you should not speak. Wait, but, but what is first person? Isn't that really like you say I think? First person, yes. I know, but I thought that's how you're supposed to write. Essays. Not in history class, okay? In history class, so let me back up a little bit. Um, we're going over the should and should not of the thesis statement. Um, in history class, you're not going to be writing about your opinions, okay? In history class, we're going to be writing about... Uh, an analysis based on evidence, okay? So you could have an opinion, but it has to be backed up by evidence, and you're not gonna write in the first person. So you're not gonna say things like, I think that uh, President Obama is the best president, okay? Uh, what research, what evidence do you have to support that President Obama is the best president, okay? That's, uh, that's what we're looking for. So what else? Think about what I just said. What else is something that your thesis should do? Remember, your thesis is in what part of the paragraph? Your thesis statement. Raise your hand. Jennifer. In your introduction. So what do you want to do right at the beginning of the introduction? With your thesis statement. What is your thesis? So what should your thesis do? You came in a little bit late, Juan, and we just watched the video on... Uh, what a thesis statement is. Okay, Iris. Grab attention. It should grab people's attention, okay? You want to write? Sure, let me just finish this one. Do you want your thesis to be broad? Like, do you want your thesis to just be on such a broad topic? Yes, so you want it to be, it should be specific, okay? So those are some of the things that we're going to keep in mind as we start writing our thesis statement. I'm going to show you a sample thesis statement so that we have a better idea of what a thesis should look like, okay? Because right now we're not 100% clear on what a thesis statement should look like. So um, before we look at some examples, we have to understand, what does a thesis do? Um, so can you please roll, George? Blue one. Blue number one. Nancy, uh, what does the thesis do for the writer? The thesis is not just for the person reading your paper, but it's for yourself. It provides a planning tool so that you're focused. 
something else that our thesis should be proved. What is the big reason as proof that Canada is the best country in the world? Raise your hand if you can identify it. So I have one, two, three people again on this side. One, two, three people over there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people on this side. Kelvin, can you tell us what is the one big reason as proof that Canada is the best country in the world? That's up, up to there. Okay, good. You stopped yourself. You stopped yourself. So it offers many great resources. Okay, that's the big reason is proof. Then we're going to break it down even further and we're going to add three pieces of evidence that support the claim. Okay, what are the three pieces of evidence that support the claim? Raise your hand if you can identify these. And if I don't see your hand up, then I'm going to know that <laughs> you're not awake or participating. Okay, good. Everybody can identify this. Antonio, can you identify the three claims, please? Yeah, who wants to move to Canada? Okay. <laughs> so that is the three pieces of evidence that support the claim. Okay, and there's the rationale. So first, the example starts with the main claim. Canada is the best country in the world. Then it provides one big reason as proof because it offers many great resources. And some thesis statements stop there, okay? But we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna provide the three pieces of evidence uh, that are examples of one big reason. So the examples are such as free healthcare, high quality education, and well-organized cities. How many paragraphs are in the standard essay? Five. Five, okay? What's the first paragraph? Shout it out. What's the second paragraph? Third paragraph? Fourth paragraph? Last paragraph? How many body paragraphs is that? Three. How many pieces of evidence are we providing? Three. This thesis statement provides a clear map for your essay. I know that my first paragraph, I'm going to talk about healthcare. I know that in my second paragraph, I'm going to talk about why Canada is the best country be because it offers uh, great resources such as high quality education. In my third body paragraph, I'm going to talk about Canada is the best country uh, because it offers great resources such as well-organized cities. And boom, you're done. Wrap it up in your conclu conclusion, put a bow on it, and turn it in. Don't put a bow on it. Okay, so um, we're going to look at uh, the sample thesis statements on our worksheet. So if you look at section B, where it says examples of thesis statements, there are five examples, okay? Four of them on the front page, one of them uh, spill over to the back page. I want you to identify the main claim, the big reason as proof, and if it has three supporting pieces of evidence or three examples, then you're going to identify those. And my bad, before you get started, everybody freeze. Everybody freeze. Don't get started yet. Here's how you're going to do it. Oh, I forgot that was there. Um, so you're going to circle the main claim, underline the big reason as proof, and box any supporting evidence. Okay, I'll write that down over here. Thank you. 